I am our host, DJ No Longer Marilyn. Uh, Boy, let's hang it. All right. Anyone here in LA made it? Has anyone here in LA made it? Lived here their whole life? No? All right, good, good, good. I've been here for 13 years now, and there's something that I got used to. Uh, you probably don't realize anymore that we have billboards fucking everywhere for <laughs> shitty movies, every direction you look. I didn't realize this till last week. I did a show on Sunset, and my mom came to see me. And she called me up, like, and I'm like, where are you? She said, I'm at the corner of After Earth and Bullock McCarthy the Heat. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 the internship. This one keeps changing. <laughs> so I... They're everywhere, so I get confused when I see actual like PSA billboards. Uh, I saw one that said, this 4th of July, be sure to wear sunscreen and don't fire your gun into the air. <laughs> and my first thought was, what movie is that for? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, I don't think that you should make fun of me for thinking that The Purge was a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just for like a day. Not like, you know, I didn't fully believe it, but I marked it on my calendar. <laughs> Fourth of July, wear sunscreen. Seventh of June, kill my landlord. <laughs> it's legal. Why wouldn't we? Uh, so this is my first time at Sardos. Um, very cool so far. Love it. Yeah. But I've done a lot of comedy shows around town, and uh, a lot of places will make you bring in a headshot and an acting resume. And I've never had to fill out an acting resume before. But if you thought a regular resume was bullshit. <laughs> An acting resume has a section just called skills. <laughs> and apparently you're supposed to put anything you can do that you suspect someone might want to film. <laughs> uh, I had to look online to get some ideas of like how to fill this out. And I saw one guy with balls of steel. He just put skills, acting. <laughs> but a lot of people try the shotgun approach. And I saw one guy running out of ideas. And you could see his stream of consciousness fading. The last three things he listed were Sewing, <laughs> pie gal, <laughs> and BBQ. <laughs> so this guy is a triple threat. <laughs> Possibly a quadruple threat, and he did not specify if he meant preparing or consuming BBQ. <laughs> I assume he's proficient at both. Uh, so he inspired me to put my own most filmable qualities. Uh, so I added uh, listening, <laughs> toothbrushing, parentheses, Three styles <laughs> and saltwater fishing, and then in bold print, no fresh water. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't gotten any comments. Uh, I have a day job that you know to pay the bills. It, it doesn't, but that's why I have it. Um, I got held up at gunpoint recently, and all they took was pity on me. <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm poor. It, it, if my friends all want to go out to dinner somewhere, I always have to tell them, okay guys, but you know, I have two rules. Whatever it is, it better be cheap, and it better get me drunk. <laughs> Somehow, I can always find room in my budget for liquor. That just seems to happen. Uh, there is a liquor store on the corner of my street called 8th Street Liquor, but I don't shop there. I walk right past that three more blocks to a place called Best Friend Liquor. Because I feel that way more accurately describes my relationship with alcohol. Uh, it's might assume that the owner of Best Friend Liquor uh, doesn't speak English as his first language. This happens a lot in my neighborhood. I live in Cape Town. A shopkeeper will uh, come up with a positive sounding English phrase and then just put the word liquor after it. And that works most of the time. But occasionally you get weird fucked up sentences if you just add a comma. <laughs> so, judge me all you want for best friend liquor, uh, but I think it tells a way darker story at Good Morning Liquor. <laughs> I'm not an 8 a.m. drunk yet, so, uh, and if you ever see me shopping at San Vicente and Fairfax at You Are My King Liquor, <laughs> that's a crack of hell. <laughs> uh, I love drinking, but I hate judgment, so, uh, I keep a bottle of booze at my desk. <laughs> and uh, the way I can get away with this without looking like a lush is, and you can do this too, show up super early and leave the bottle on your desk with a note that says, from your secret admirer. <laughs> Works like a charm. 
By which I mean, I've done it six times. <laughs> which is weird, because I've worked in an office with five people. <laughs> and you'd think they would have talked by now and found out that my secret admirer is alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> but, longest relationship I've been in. Uh, I'm actually in a long-term relationship right now. Uh, six years, which is pretty impressive, yeah. That is a long time to still be fighting over stupid bullshit. <laughs> like the dumbest possible things. Uh, uh, just recently, I was saying that uh, the Avengers movies, right? The movies leading up to the Avengers, since they're all basically origin stories, they're way more thematically unified than the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. <laughs> and she was saying, grow the fuck up. <laughs> Stop avoiding the question. I asked you to set a wedding date. <laughs> uh, but I've, I've grown up quite a bit in the last six years. A lot of chances and opportunities for self-improvement. Uh, I remember one specific case. Uh, we were at an antique store, and uh, my girlfriend had this lamp. She was holding it up with one hand, right? And she handed it to me because she thought I wanted to see it. And when I grabbed it, I was like, ugh, right? And I had to pick it up with two hands. And I thought to myself, God, I can't believe how weak I'm getting. I let her drag me to an antique store. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? I need to build myself confidence up. But, uh, as many complaints as I may have, this is certainly better than my last relationship. Uh, that fucked me up for a long time. It was, it was really messed up. It was one of those things where like, how can I put this? It was one of those things where like, you know when you have a chicken sandwich and it's there on your table and you're, you're ready to eat it, but you just gotta go wash your hands first. And when you do, you come back and your roommate is fucking it. <laughs> It was a lot like that. <laughs> you, you, could say, you could say it was exactly like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, did I have something else? I don't think I have. I think you have more material prepared this time, and I didn't see why. But he's standing now. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>